year one and year two. So we are going to do some poetry for our writing this week. And why not do a bit of poetry because it's a lot of fun. Now year one and year two we looked at a really well known poet. His name is Michael Rosen and he's written this poem called Mustard, Custard, Grumble, Belly and Gravy. Bit of a strange combination. The great thing about his poem is that he's made it like he's having a conversation. It's like he's got someone talking to him and someone saying something back. Now I know you're at home at the moment and there are a lot of rules and that's a good thing because it's good to have rules and you've probably heard this word don't quite a lot. Well don't is a word that's used throughout the poem an awful lot so we're going to have some creative writing. Okay let's take a look at the poem. It says don't, don't do, don't do that, don't pull faces, don't tease the cat, don't pick your ears, don't be rude at school, who do they think I am, some kind of fool, one day they'll say, don't put toffee in my coffee, don't put beer in his ear. Don't stick your toes up his nose. Don't put confetti on the spaghetti. And don't squash peas on your knees. Don't put ants in your pants. Don't put mustard in the custard. Don't chuck jelly at the telly. And don't throw fruit at a computer. Don't throw fruit at a computer. Don't what? Don't throw fruit at a computer. Don't what? Don't throw fruit at a computer. Who do they think I am? Some kind of fool. So, really funny poem. Now, we've had some really great ideas and thought, I wonder what things you can do at home. Now, Mrs Elder has let her daughters do some things that she wouldn't usually do. So the next video you can see the girls really enjoying that. Now don't forget we need to behave all the time, we need to be good boys and girls. But let's take a look at this poem. You're going to have a go at writing your own version throughout the week with Mrs Elder and Mrs Beecham. So we've got a title, Don't. Don't is a contracted word. That's two words that have been squished together. You can see do not has become don't. And you can see the O has been taken out and replaced by the apostrophe. Because it's a chatty poem, it's a conversation, you're using language that's quite relaxed. So we're allowed to say don't. There's some rhyming. And actually this poem is like a half rhyme poem. We've got that and cat. School and fool, day say, beer, ear, toffee, coffee as examples. There's also some great use of punctuation in this poem that's been used by the writer. There's lots of commas. Commas are used as pauses. There's full stops to show you the end of a sentence. There's quite a lot of full stops. There's also question marks. Use a question mark when you're asking someone something. And of course, there's many capital letters. It's not a capital letter at the beginning of every line in this poem, but there are lots of the lines. Of course, there's lots of repeating words throughout the poem. Don't you will see many times. There's also a bit of a shape to this poem. If you look here at the first verse, because it's verses in poems, you can see that the repeated lines get a little bit longer each time. So, Lots of things for you to think about, but you're going to have so much fun. Remember, it is just for fun. What don't you do and what can you do? Good luck, year one and year two, with your creative poems.